Well, session 10, as, as we're going through the book of 1 Thessalonians, we're still looking at 1 Thessalonians 2, 11 through 12, about how making disciples is like spiritual fatherhood. We're speaking with authority uh, into people's lives, and, and the core of that authority is that call, not of our own authority or our own ability, but it's pointing to Jesus. It's that call uh, to turn to God from idols, to worship and serve uh, the living and true God that Paul had issued to that Thessalonian church. And I see that in 1 Thessalonians 1, 9 through 10. And, and we've been talking about how leadership in the scriptures is often illustrated as shepherding. And a shepherd knows their sheep, leads their sheep, feeds their sheep, and protects their sheep. And so in this session, we want to put into play that model of heat, thorns, fruit we introduced last session and how to use the knowledge of our people, what's going on in their life, what they think about it, and how they feel about it uh, as a way to know then how to lead, feed, and protect them. Where to lead, feed, and protect them. And, and what this model illustrates is that our life is continually um, showing a response to the heat, our circumstances continually showing what it is we're turned towards, what it is we're trusting in. And where there's thorns in my life, that's an indication that I'm trusting something other than God uh, to give me security, uh, to give me identity, or to give me relationship. So, so seeing this in the people's lives, where the response of their life is either the fruit of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faith, and wellness, gentleness, or self-control, or the thorns of not that, the thorns of death, well, what do we do about that then in leading, feeding, and protecting? And the, the key then is where we lead, feed, and protect. See, see, a lot of times in ministry, we tend to lead, feed, and protect at either the heat, the circumstance, um, or, or the end of the branch, the fruit. And, and we'll try to give good advice, but not deal with the root, uh, with the power of the gospel. Now, let me illustrate, uh, maybe in a familiar scenario. I mean, being a young adult ministry, a lot of, a lot of what we deal with is uh, careers of people or lack thereof. Right? So I got out of college or uh, have, you know, I'm, I'm in the workforce and things aren't working out like I thought they would. My, my job's not going anywhere. My boss is a jerk. Uh, the work is hard. Money is tight. And, and I'm not just frustrated, uh, but I'm also I'm depressed. I'm despairing. My life isn't what I thought it would be, and I'm 27. My college degree is not delivering like I thought it would. I'm 29 and I'm deeply in debt. Uh, and and seeing in that person's life uh, the, the thorns of despair. That's not joy. It's not peace. It's not patience. Um, and, and so what we tend to do is say, well, hey, just go ahead and, and fill out your resume and start submitting that. Find a different job. Change your circumstances. Or you know what? Hey, go into work and be positive. Just try to be a positive person and see, see how that positive thinking might, might help you. That, that's all dealing with either the circumstance or the end of the branch, the fruit, and not going to the root. So what it means with this knowledge, seeing where is either fruit or thorns uh, to lead, feed, and protect at the root is to start asking people the questions of why. Why are you responding like you are to your circumstances? And lead them to see um, what they're trusting in other than God for their security, their identity, um, or, or their relationship. That's the idolatry. That's that core. Uh, so that as we lead them to that, then we can feed them with the truth of how Jesus actually provides for them what they're seeking idolatrously in that person or that thing. Turn to God from that idol uh, to serve the living and true God who provides those things uh, in Jesus Christ perfectly and faithfully. And we protect people at the root to help them see how the consequence of unbelief uh, is going to bear the, the thorn of death in the life. Well, that can seem complex and confusing. How do we actually put it in play in, in real time in a relationship? And that's something that's learned over time, but that's something that's got to start with us. We as leaders have to start employing this in our lives, really thinking about our, our lives, really knowing ourselves. So where in our lives are our lives bearing thorns in response to the circumstance of our life? Because what's at root there is an idolatrous trust in something or some one, to provide for us what we already possess perfectly in Jesus Christ when it comes to our security of his faithfulness to us, when it comes to our identity in him, or it comes to the relationship that he will provide through Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit dwells in us, knowing us perfectly. So this is the heat, 
thorns fruit model, how we know, lead, feed, protect, but it's got to start with us. Using this in our own lives so that we can start employing that also in love and in patience and humility in the lives of others to be spiritual fathers to the people that God has entrusted to us as we're shepherding them.